hello I wanted to continue to explain about Genesis chapter 5 verse 23 and 24 because um, well before I've talked about the pie relationship with Enoch and as I explained before pie is also 9-11 by the dual alphabetical system and as I also explained before that 9-11 is connected with Ezekiel 21 and that mentioned about the 9-11 tax and that representing California, New York City and it was also a prophecy against Israel so, so that's about those three places. The, one I, the thing that I want to focus now is about um, the structure of the scripture. Um, it's very interesting you see that verse 23 is separated with verse 24 um, in regards to the lifespan of Enoch and also him being taken away. That both verses are separated when we look on to, uh, for example, in chapter 5, verse uh, 11. And all the days of Enoch were 905 years and he died. And can you notice here, the, uh, Enoch's lifespan and his death are all in one verse. And also in verse 20. And all the days of Job were 962 years and he died. And it's the same for verse 31. Verse 31. And all the days of Lamech were 770 and 7 years and he died. It's very interesting to see that the whole verse included both the death of that person and also the age of that person when he died. And um, it's really unique to see verse 23 of Enoch and verse 24 as separated of uh, the lifespan and him being taken away and I, and this led to um, the thought about I will first of all one pie because 360 in five years as uh, so I explained before is a pie and therefore one out of that three pies, three poor shipwrecks. Therefore, that's leading us to the first poor shipwrecks transformation, because three hundred sixty in five years is only one pie, and this is another confirmation that um, the six days period that the first day of that six days period would be the transformation according to the pattern of Enoch because this represent pi and that's related to the three places that will be judged and therefore this positioning before the transformation verse as though um, possibly saying that the transformation app like happens after the judgments of upon those three places at the first round of horseshit wrecks because I believe there must be a reason why verse 23 and verse 24 are separated and I also wanted to uh, focus on Cain and Abel this time and Adam and Eve so here we can see that Cain raised up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. And actually Abel died first before Cain. And 
before that in chapter 4 in verse verse 1 and um, how Eve said I have gotten a man from the Lord and we I want to focus on the word man but knowing that Cain is uh, was actually the firstborn of Adam and Eve and this is actually representing the firstborn um, the death of the firstborn of Exodus uh, 10 plague and because Cain he was the firstborn and Abel he died before Cain and that's positioning uh, that's mirroring back to the nine plague of the three days of darkness because Abel he um because you know like black is associated with darkness and death and Abel died so death is related to darkness and therefore Abel who died first and then Cain that is actually reflecting the three days of darkness and exodus that happened before the death of the firstborn which is Cain in representation um in this generation the for the death of the firstborn and the three days of the darkness of exodus will be first Whereas the three day, uh, whereas the death of the firstborn will happen before the three days of worldwide darkness, and here as we see that um, how she got a man from the Lord, and this is uh, when we look over to over here. The definition of Adam is actually. The Hebrew word for man, and Cain is actually representing Adam. Um, knowing how, like Adam exactly means the word man, and another um, mirroring of Cain and Adam was how in. Genesis chapter 3 verse 24 that Adam who went to the east of the Garden of Eden whereas Cain also went to the east in chapter 4 Cain um, went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nut on the east of Eden and that is uh, echoing back to Adam he also went to the east it's very interesting to know that he went to the east to know that uh, darkness is the west direction and Cain he went to the east direction and that's a um, story representing the west coast and east coast of America um, which would be the which would be California and New York City and knowing it's explained before, Abel represents darkness as well. And interesting to see that Cain went to east of Eden. And Eden was a, a delightful place, a place like heaven. And that is so signifying that um, at the time of the death of the firstborn, that it will be heaven for the bride. And knowing how east would be light direction. And I was seeing how Adam is like echoing to Cain and Abel's also echoing to Eve because um when we go into the definition behind Eve. So here it means to breathe. And definition of Abel is also brief or breath and they're just uh, basically the same meaning 
like Cain is representing Adam and Abel representing you. And that's another confirmation to um, you being on the West Coast of America. That's um, acting to Abel as well. Um, the darkness. And because we know that um, both of them representing one would be Eve and another Adam. And now we can, um, working back at, uh, like now we can see another confirmation to Psalm 1312 because Abel representing the West Coast died before he came and uh, so the judgment will be upon the West Coast America before the East Coast America which is New York City. And interestingly, both Adam and Cain were cursed of the ground. As you look over to um, here in verse uh, in Genesis chapter three, verse seventeen. Here God said to Adam how yeah, he was cursed of the ground, like cursed is the ground for thy sake, and the cursing of the ground was read to Adam, and Cain also had the same thing. And Cain was told how the um, ground was cursed as well. Uh, says how when thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her stream, because he um, murdered his brother Abel. The reason I wanted to focus about the curse in the ground, because knowing how, for thus thou art, and unto thus shall thou return. Mankind. Um, they all go into one place that they're all of the that they're all are of the dust and that and that they are how humans came from dust of the ground every one of us and as though this is suggesting um about the six seal because Knowing how that that will be the worldwide quake, and because knowing how the ground, which as uh, synonyms of herb as well, and how like the dust of the ground is ready to every one of us humans. As though suggesting worldwide, and the, the ground was cursed, and that um, reminds of the earthquake of the um, ground. Isn't very interesting that uh, to know that both Adam and Eve that they um, sealed fig leaves together. Because um, knowing how fig is uh, representing Israel and knowing how Adam is of the East because knowing how he went to the East and how like Eve as I explained before about the California's connection. And it's very interesting to see that Israel is also in the same picture with um, Adam and Eve, like California and New York City, when seeing Fik as they're like representing the land of Israel. And how like true one man scene that came to the world where wrestling that all men have seen. It's just um, pretty amazing to see California and New York City being compared to the original scene. 
and Waikithinga. Um, knowing how like Hollywood of California just led um, the whole world to see um, who produces uh, like one of the most materialistic, lascivious, blasphemous, adulterous, murderous, damnable movies and music and just very wicked uh, system where um, Satan who is behind the system of um, the media and World Trade Center knowing here like the, the number pi Approximate number is 3.141 and look back to Genesis 3 verse 14 and seeing how like the serpent was cursed above all cattle above every beast of the field so that's um Remind me of Satan behind the two systems of the two high places of America. And that's also read back to the serpent scene as well. Knowing how like Cain was a murderer. And that reminded me like because knowing how like he went to the east side and that reminded me of the east coast of america and knowing how like when we're going to revelation 18 in revelation 18 uh, verse 24 it says how yeah, and her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth and this chapter is about New York City Revelation 18 and verse 24 um, talked about the murders and that just very interesting to see the uh, murdering like murdering connection between this and Cain so you may wonder like What's the meaning behind the three part shipwrecks? Like, why? Why would be like Paul shipwrecks and not Saul shipwrecks? Is knowing how Paul, uh, the name Paul was changed from the name Saul. So here, in the definition of Paul means small or humble. When we uh, go to the definition of Lamarck, as I've covered that in previously, and here, Lamarck here means to make low. They're actually kind of like I can teach other because Paul means small or humble. That's actually making someone low as well. And I explained before that Lamac was violating the law of marriage, and that's according to gay marriage because that's also violating the law of marriage. And that is still like even meaning that the prideful will be humbled, the first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first. And I have those um, two high places of America will make a low one day and they will fall of their wicked systems. Like you knowing how like Apple company they sell iPhone and iPad and it's just very interesting to see the pie again because 
um, cause I found like got the I and a P and backwards reading that's pi. It's very interesting you see that pi is related to California. And that's an again another confirmation to her judgment that will be coming very soon. And another like interesting observation that I made just um been chance um to see Mori and like cause knowing here like Hollywood they're like celebrities, they like singers singing's true to mouth and listening to music um is true you know like the ears and it's just very interesting you see that um connection between the mouth and uh, ears is like a overturned triangle and it's very interesting, you know, that uh, that remind me of Egypt and it's, you know, like Egypt um, represents the world. It's they like um, following the world, but uh, it's an another um, interesting observation that I got uh, is that um, they're like a triangle as well. And still so, like the falling of Illumina Illuminati so now I want to um, focus on 153 great fishes of John chapter 21 verse 11 um, here it says Simon Peter went up and drew the net to land full of great fishes and 153 and for all there were so many yet was not the net broken and i want to um first of all explain the connection of the six days of darkness in relation to the 153 great fishes and as we look over here one five three one monday wednesday three and far Friday. I'm not saying that um, I'm ch not trying to like dates at any um, week of the day. So I'm just trying to tell you that from Monday, when we're counting back, is uh, one is not two three, it's one two five. So Monday first, Sunday second, Saturday third, Friday fourth, Thursday fifth, and Wednesday the sixth. And that six days period, and that remind me of the six days of darkness. And the reason I want to talk about 153 great fishes, um, not only related to the six days of darkness, it's also related to the 7 Eleven pattern again. As we um, go over here, there were seven people who. Uh, went together for the fishing so um, Peter, Thomas, Nathaniel, uh, Kana, sons of Zebedee, um, two of them, which, which two of them, and two other of his disciples and so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's seven and during how that's uh, positioned after the resurrection of Jesus and during um, there were 12 disciples however one of them Judas who died um, before this event and therefore there are only 11 disciples left and so that's 7-eleven and now we're getting back until the 7-eleven again so what's up with 7-eleven so we go into the calculation of 153 so when we add up 
from 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on until plus 17, it equals 253. And as I explained before, it is a relationship with rainbow colors of the number 17. But first of all, let's go back into the 7-Eleven logo. And the chart. The chart um, there, the 17 here again. And as I said before, 7-Eleven um, is related to 153 great fishes. And therefore, um, since 17 is related to the red color, and it came from this direction. Um, so, this direction again is pointing to the September period. I'm not saying that September is the month, but um, many signs are pointing to that month. But we can know the seasons. We're like living this season, we're very close to the perfect season of the September and November period. And so here you see that September again, that's uh, where we're on, um, well, we're on this map now. But um, just, and um, also, when we times a uh, When we uh, times multiply 153 with 11, it comes up uh, 1683. And by the Strong's word, 1683 came to Deborah. And uh, very interesting to see that it um, says about two Israelite women. And Deborah, that's um, when we go into Deborah here. It says that she was the fourth judge of Israel. And very interestingly, the um, the 153 story of great fishes only mentioned in the Gospel of John, which was the fourth uh, book of the Gospel. And you can see four again. Well, that remind me of the uh, the chart I've done before, and um, as I explained before, um, the six seals between uh, the three days of partial darkness and the three days of worldwide darkness, and that's located with uh, in the midst of the uh, seven days period, but yet is six days of darkness and in the midst of that that's the fourth day and she was the fourth judge and that reminded me of the fourth day of judgment in relation to the sixth seal and also Deborah also means her her name also translates as B and that um, honey is related to B and that immediately uh, reminds me of the land of honey and milk, the promised land. And even though that's uh, referring to Israel, but also heaven is also a promised land. And so that's pointing to the fourth day, and on the confirmation by the first call that um, is linked to the bride going to the promised land, heaven. And also, it's interesting to know that John walked the closest to God. And um, this chapter 21 went after the resurrection of Jesus. And that is very like uh, symbolizing the great harvest um, after the six days of darkness where like billions of souls will be saved and knowing how when um when jesus came the miracle happened and that's um representing the intervention of god um that 
um, result this miracle with so many great fishes. Like now how before the, that night without the Lord, Jesus, um, they caught nothing. And so that's um, symbolizing the, how billions of souls will be saved. Like the um, same three of the Israelites of the Red Sea. Um, and very interesting to see uh, back in Deborah, it's mentioned about, um, I mentioned about how the song, um, well, the song of Deborah mentions six participating tribes and opposed to the two tribes in Judges chapter 4, verse 6. And here we see the 20, number 26 again. It's interesting to know that the harvest of the great fishes is related to Deborah. Here it says two Israelite women. And um, so that reminds me how like after the six days of darkness that the brides will um, come in pair um, to witness to the lost souls and preach and um, heal and do all the great works. Things like that before the rapture. Another um, interesting thing that I want to show you about the 133 great fishes is when you um, 133 minus 11 equals 242. Uh, we really need to read in a Hebrew's way, and that's backward. And therefore, we can see that um, it's 2, 4, and 1. And 24 1, when you um, see that as a date, like 20, 24 and like 1, and now we can see that as the 24th of January. And when we go into the wheel, here we can see January here, and the 24th of January is also the 34th of May, that's Pentecostal period of Genesis uh, chapter 5, verse 24. And that's May, that's May, like, even though it's January, but it's also May, because that's um, counting from the Jewish New Year from Tishri. And therefore, 153 great fishes uh, is related to... The Pentecostal period. Um, first call. And Deborah, who was a judge of Israel, he, um, the wife of, uh, she was the wife of Lipidov, meaning torches, and uh, that's lights. And that's, um, Mommy about the three days of darkness but while Brad will be going to the light on the fourth day, most possibly according to Exodus 24 verse 16. And the other thing I want to um, show you about is the uh, 108 pattern. Um, so when we, uh, this, uh, this numbers are uh, like they came from the dual alphabetical system and so this column like one column will be english one column will be hebrew ways and when adding up them together it's just so amazing to see that paul ends up on 108 saul again and cube as well and there must be a reason why they are connected. But um, before I get further into that, I want to focus on here as well. Um, 6 o'clock is also 18 o'clock. And when we... Um, when we multiply 18 and 6, we get 108. And 108 is um, related to September as well. This um, over here, 
and that's very interesting to see that's related to Nepal um, Seoul and Cube and suspend me for three of uh, the three per shipwrecks the, the properties of Cube um, got six faces eight vertices 12 edges that's um, 26 all together and that's again the number 26 representing the beginning of the end and many other meanings and also in relation to the 26th of June gay marriage legalization in America with nationwide and the properties of cube um, 3 times 3 times 3 and that equals to 27 and anyhow the 3 plus shipwrecks is related to 3 places Israel, California, New York City that's um, making sense to the 3 and 3 and 3 pattern of the 3 plus shipwrecks as though that the 3 plus shipwrecks um, is related to September not saying that September would be the month, but uh, many signs are pointing to this month. And it's a very high watch time. The 9 11 attack, 102 minutes changed the world. And this 102 in the wheel, we can see that um, October 10 and February 2, and it's 102. And that's again related to month seven, this three period. And that's uh, just pretty amazing to see um, so many 9 11 patterns. And uh, another interesting observation um, I see September 9 and January 1, and that's 91. And that reminds me of so 91. And, then, and that's uh, a song of protection for the bride and many other things. And it's very interesting to see that um, 91. Here you can see 7 11 again. That's November because that's from the January, from the New Jewish New Year. And Jenner, so that's July, um, Gregorian July. Uh, November 7-11 and so interesting to see that so I'm directing to this direction F and F the um, by the dual of a particle system is 122 so A that's 1 and V 22 that's 122 uh, Explain me for one two two is related to um, month seven, and here you see again the seven eleven connection with um, Tishri, and we're actually back to um, like symbolically to the barley harvest that um, started around month like Jewish January. And that's also generally because of the Jewish New Year. And here in Psalm of Solomon chapter 2, it was very interesting to see that um, the, word, the words come away uh, twice. Here in uh, 1 in verse uh, 10, 1 in verse 13, come away, come away. And 10 plus 13, that's 23. And that's again um, the... Second Pentecostal number. Start confirming that um, coming away period is read till the layer six and twenty-three. Um, the past earthquakes that happened on a six twenty-three pattern again uh, as well. So that's um, confirming again Pentecostal judgment. Now, when you focus on Acts chapter twenty-seven about the three past shipwrecks. And here is said about the 14 knot and the number 14 is actually the pi number K 
because uh, both 14 belongs uh, with 13 as well and pi is so 3.141 and the 13 14 and that's um, connecting with the rainbow in a pi yin and that's a uh, root back to 6 seal and here nuts means darkness and over here in verse 38 um has it cast out the wheat into the sea and this is actually confirming that jaina like the backslidden or the lukewarm that they um like those who like come back to the lord from their backslidden state or lukewarm state they're the wheat and that's another confirmation because knowing how in Jaina chapter 1 told um, how Jaina was cast out for being in the sea and that's um, linking back to the wheat identity that um, Jaina is interesting to know that um, two seas met and balance of waves and waves is synonym of flood and that's actually echoing back to the worldwide flood of Noah in relation to three past shipwrecks and two seas met as though that two seas were divided and therefore they come back together and that's picturing back about the Red Sea where the water would the waters cover the people of Pharaoh the Egyptians so that's referencing the the losing of the grip um, over the lost souls in relation to the three past shipwrecks and let's look over to the winter cauldron again. Um, over here, like, knowing how winter is a time for some creatures to hibernate. And that is to sleep. And the seventh day, where he got rest. And that's still like, um, the um triple seven pattern again like uh the three sections here and the the one two three four pattern and so like um another confirmation about the three days of glorification bride uh, burly bride and also uh, three days um, rest for the bride and knowing how like Adam and Cain were cursed of the ground and knowing how the ground is led to the earth and earth is pointing to the north direction and that's 12 o'clock it's interesting to see that um, 12 is in the midst of the um, six sections one two three four five six and so explain me for this the rainbow um, arc and that's um the earth is in the midst of that um, that arc and that's another confirmation to the six seal in the midst of the six days of darkness and i want to get over to genesis again and here it says and adam called 
his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all living. And this happened after the fall. After the fall in chapter 3. And there must be a reason why Adam called his wife's name Eve after the fall. And fall the fall um well this is the Jewish month seven calendar and the fall equinox will happen around the twenty second to the twenty third of September this year. And as I explained before that Eve is read to the three part shipwrecks and because this is the fall and the um how Eve was named after the fall so after the September twenty three will be a very very sensitive period of time um knowing how like Eve that was named after the fall, like after this fall equinox is what I could think of. Um, like, I know you have if Eve is um, representing the three plus shipwrecks, as blame me for. So after this period of time will be very significant time, very high witch time. And now, um, to conclude, just wanted to, um, like, do a summary of the, um, of the very soon coming timeline events. So that's the, um, three days. So, okay, so, um, that's the first day, um, first part shipwreck, um, the bar leak transformation on the first day. Um, so I was thinking about the bar leak conception around the mid 2012. Well, it I will explain more about the seven years tribulation. But um, anyway, uh, three places, California, New York City, and Israel. And, um, and then the three days of darkness in parts of the world and three days of cosmic events um like at the same time and then the um six seal in the midst of that six days of darkness the six seal um global quake which will be the conception of the boot brats and then feasible spiritual room but then there is also door to paradise before the uh, judge, like before the judgment guide, or um, at the same time, not sure because knowing how uh, the timing of the first boring and the midnight cry, uh, Matthew 25, both of them um, are in midnight setting. But anyway, um, this, that's the second part shipwreck. And then three days of what wet darkness for lost and a lukewarm backslidden seven days of paradise training barley brides within this time frame and then the third part shipwrecked great earthquake of Matthew twenty eight and then approximately forty days of great soul harvest. And that's just a pattern of 40 days, um, just approximate 40 days, and then the rapture. And that's uh, with transformation and taking with the uh, barley and uh, rising and dead in Christ, and creating a long great tribulation, and then um, proceeding with the marriage supper of the Lamb.